What's going on, everybody? You're tuning in with Kicking It With Cute. My name's Quentin. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the NBA All-Star Game and some of the events and the game itself. So keep on listening. Today, I got some of my homies. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, man. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Ulysses Valentin, and we're going to talk about some some good old stuff here. Once again, it's your boy, Jake Santiago, a.k.a. Jake Sama, a.k.a. Salami Mommy. You know the business. Salami Mommy. Let's get right into it, man. Let's talk about this NBA All-Star game. This game's uh, coming up this weekend, isn't it? Yep. I'm That's, pretty excited it's, about uh, it. Yeah. It's my favorite part of the NBA. It's going to be a real excited uh, time. It's like it's like, it's like almost like watching like a little... Uh, it's like a little theater, like a little show for us. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it, it's like it's kind of like a little mid, a little mid. It's, it's like dope. It's, it's right? the, the way they do it. Yeah, it's, like it's relieved stress. Yeah. Yes, like playing exactly. the game all the time. Exactly. It's just a. Way it's just to a have healthy. Fun. Yeah, it's just it's just a move. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's that it's crazy. It's ridiculous. So, I think it was so yesterday. LeBron James and Giannis Antetokounmpo just picked their teams. Name the starting five right now for me. So for Team LeBron, we got obviously LeBron James, James Harden, Kawhi, Luka Doncic, and Anthony Davis as the starters. The reserves is Chris Paul, Damian Lillard, uh, Jokic, Ben Simmons, Sabonis, Jason Tatum, and Russ. Uh, let me ask you, who do y'all think should replace that starter? Because honestly, so we're gonna talk about Team LeBron right now, right? Yeah, we're gonna talk about. Team All LeBron. right. So, so first of all, there isn't even a point guard in the starting lineup. They're just yeah. trying to play big ball. Yeah, yeah. that's the whole point. Yeah. I mean, but yeah. then again, I guess it's LeBron's yeah, I, call. It, yeah, that's so true because he, he does gets run to it. The starting lineup. Yeah, he doesn't run it. And um, but if it was me, Lillard, Lillard, Lillard would have to be in those starters because well, yeah, he so. is doing crazy numbers, crazy stats. You seen him the past couple of days, right? Yeah, or the past couple A- games, averaging like thirty five points. Per game. Easy. Yeah, Got yeah. his first triple-double last week. Yep. 40 uh, points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists. Yeah, on the RIP Kobe, the Kobe night. Yeah, Yo, that was, that that was, was that phenomenal. Was That's the perfect yeah. way. That, yeah, that to, was the way to, to go. say goodbye to one of the greatest players that we have ever seen. And uh, I totally agree. Because, like, yeah, like that, that's exactly what like what uh, LeBron James said. Like, right, right before they started, he's like, this is what, Le- this is what, Kobe wanted. He wanted us to go out and push out. Exactly. You know, he wanted not, us to push, you know, past that pain and not, all that. Yeah. So not, I, don't, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like a lot of the games ever since Kobe's passing have been like real physical. Yes. But in like a good way. Like yeah. it's like you see their heart like, and soul. It's like early two thousands NBA. Like exactly the roughness, bro, like the aggressiveness, 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 yeah. and um the physicality, and, and them just wanting good. to win. Like yeah. these, they just it looks like they play for money. Yeah. They play like it's a job. This yeah, game that yeah, we yeah. just watched with um, uh, Port- the Portland, Portland and Utah, and Utah yeah, bro, is. that's what every single NBA game needs, needs to, to be. be. Needs I to agree. be. Cause that I was agree. some aggressive stuff that I was seeing out there. You can see a lot of soul, a lot of pride, a lot of heart out there. Yeah. And it's colliding, and that's what you want to see. You want to see that that on the court. So if I were to pick the starting lineup for Team LeBron, I would have Dame running point, James Harden. And then let's see. I would probably. I probably put James. Yeah, I put James Harden in a shooting guard. Appreciate it, brother. And then, uh, honestly, LeBron and Kawhi they could flip flop for small power. Exactly. Forward. Like yeah. they're they're about the same. Yeah. And then AD at at Obviously, got to stay in. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. It's so a who do solid you, team that he came? So up who with. do you think in the reserves shouldn't even be in the All Star weekend? So Chris Paul, he's he's. I mean, listen. No, nah, nah, I wasn't. I wasn't gonna knock him. No, you're anything. saying who doesn't need to be? No, in yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, I'm pretty much going down the list in the reserves. Chris Paul, he made the Thunder like still relevant. Yeah. So, okay, I'll give him that. Okay, he's an All Star. Sabonis, I don't even yeah. know what team he plays for. It's true. That's Do you know what team he plays for? Sabonis. Yeah. yeah. Um. See, that's the problem. We don't know. The bonus, he's for the Pacers. He, to be honest with you, he's pretty good. You you watch him? You, oh, yeah. wow. Well, Pacers, I don't I don't watch the Pacers. Pacers yeah, are not that true. bad. That is very true. For okay, who you should Unless, be, who shouldn't be on LeBron's? You saying LeBron? Yeah, LeBron reserves. 
So starting with Chris versus Paul versus everyone that should be there. I uh, I guess you're right. It's a bonus. Some bonus should, should not should be bounce. there, dude. So you saying just that's it? You don't think anyone else should be moved? Uh, let's see. Jayton, uh, Jason Tatum, he could be a back. He could, he could be a starter. He'd be he like could, a six, but he'd be like a six man. I put yeah. Jason, I put Jason Tatum in the starting Luka, Luka Doncic. I so my starting lineup for Team LeBron was was Dame, James Harden, LeBron, Kawhi, and then AD. But let's let's go on, let's go to the Giannis game. The Giannis roster actually. So you got Giannis Ante Tecupo, Joel Embiid. Pascal Siakam, Kemba Walker, and your boy Trey Young. Of course. You thought, That's my he dog. That's in. my dog. You think you play like him? Of course. You think you can beat him? Maybe. We're the same height. Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. Six, six, six three. Oh. Uh, 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 I wish um, y'all could see him right now. He yeah. Someone go get this. Someone go get this. Take measure. All right. All right. All right. I'm five ten. <laughs> okay. I'll all give right. him that. All all right. Right. Thank you. Thank you. you. Got, <laughs> Bam Adebayo, Brandon Ingram, Jimmy Butler, Rudy Gobert, Gobert. Rudy, Go- no, Gobert. Rudy, Rudy, Gobert. Rudy Gobert, Donovan Mitchell, Donovan Kyle Mitchell. Lowry. L- Lowry? Yeah. Lowry? Yeah. Lowry? Yeah. Bro, he doesn't do nothing. Kyle Lowry should not be in the All-Star game. Yeah. Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton. Uh, yeah, he's, he's so so nice from Bam all the way to Chris Middleton is all the reserves. But from Trey Young to Giannis is the starter. Yeah, so they start. A starter? Yeah, of starter. course. Really? Yes, he's really? gonna be a starter. Yes. Really? yes. Wait, 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 wait. He deserves so to be Kemba, a starter. Kemba is on the bench. No, Kemba starting. Kemba they're, they're running so two Kemba, point guards. Trey. Trey is shooting. Pascal. Kemba. Trey. Trey is a shooting guard. He could run a point guard, yeah, obviously, yeah. but he's a shooting guard. He could play the shooting guard. Yeah, it's like. Steph. But I wouldn't play those two. I'd rather have one of them. And just, yeah, and have, that's true yeah, because I'd rather have Donovan Mitchell in there. Like, there probably, there, there, there probably will be a mismatch. Yeah, exactly. And there could possibly be a mismatch if you put two, two small short, guys. Man. Yeah, there could be a, a mismatch, like a post up. They're going to take advantage, and oh. it's an easy point. AD, you know what I'm saying? Trey Young trying to guard AD? Yeah, you Other see, there's. It's not fair. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, honestly, Kemba, I was surprised when you said that, that Kemba was also playing while Trey is in. Yeah. That makes no sense. You should, honestly, for me, I would probably keep Trey Young. Cause he's young, he's new, range. healthy. He's nasty with that shot, and he's quick. Knows how to react in a situation, and that's what you need in a point guard. Yeah, like Trey Young. You know, Trey like Trey Young. Young. He's he's pretty nasty, man. I give give a lot of props to that kid. We can get in our own opinions now. Who do y'all think got snubbed? Who do you think Yo, got snubbed for this? Derrick Rose. This was his breakout year. To prove to all the other teams that traded him why they shouldn't have done that. Derrick Rose looked like the MVP Rose. The youngest guy ever to win an MVP. That's what he reminded me of this year. Carrying the Pistons. Averaging more than 20 points. From a situ- multiple situations where he got injured. Had to come back, gets re-injured. Over time, it's going to wore you out. But Derrick Rose... He uses that as an advantage. And he's, I'm honestly uh, kind of heartbroken that he's not an all-star. I'm really glad you brought him up first because this man was born and raised in Chicago. Right. Yeah. And that is what's, that's what I'm just like mind blown about is that his, he this is his hometown. And he, that's when he started his legacy at his hometown. In. They didn't even let him in. Yeah. That's what, bro, I'm salty because I'm a huge Bulls fan. I'm a huge D Rose fan, yep. and like I just want to see that man prosper. He has done nothing but positive stuff. You know, he's got goals, and I, it's like it's kind it's of so, it's kind of like, bigger would, than basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. I would, it's I would a whole other thing. I would definitely think that he's he's like a, definitely a good role model, but not just because he's a good person. Because this he, man can ball. Yes, bro. he could sauce Even, up anyone. Still at his age right now, the man was sauce like, anyone with ease. Cut through the defense, laying it up. Just it's at like points, at points, yeah. he was yamming. Yeah. When do you ever Early see that career, for a while? In Chicago. Yeah, but, I'm, but, yeah. but right, right about now that. he's doing that as if it was yeah. Chicago, he's, like a couple, like t- t- eight, nine years ago. He be yeah. cutting everybody up. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I uh, feel like there are so many players out there that kind of have a similar play style as Rose, like Kobe White. True. That True. man has the, the the same quickness as him. And it, that's what I 
got that vibe from when I started when I started watching him play. Kobe White. Yeah. Yeah. Besides right. Derrick Rose. Let's say De- um, Devin Booker. I was just about to say the that. sixty point man. Yes. Yeah. That yes. he's a he's a walk, he's a walking Dude, he is nasty, bro. That's like I don't know, it's like a a Clay Thompson that could dribble. Yeah, a Clay Thompson <laughs> yeah. that could dribble and yeah. sauce, and get to the paint when he needs to, and yam it, and just take over. But not as better a shooter as Clay. Oh, stop it. No, come on. No. That's no competition. Clay, no. You, it, who is you want? Where's Clay? Clay? Uh, Where's Clay and all stuff? Injured. Oh, okay, no. Anyways, uh, Devin Booker. Yeah, I can't believe okay, he's, yeah, I can't believe he's, he's not an all star. He's a better shooter than Clay though. We need to get that up. Like I said, I can't believe he's a he's not an all star. That's just wild. Kyrie. Kyrie's not an all star. Man. But has his points out of the season? Do you he, guys know? Has he been balling uh, up this season? Uh, not more than twenty points per game. Because I've only oh well, there was one time he actually did like a fifty point or a forty point game. Yeah, and, and was, he, actually it was on that was on the Bulls. That's the only reason I know that. It's because I was a little you salty. Watched, yeah, yeah. But hmm. figured, man, figured. But honestly, because. I have, feel like I haven't seen that man play that often because he's True. been out. He's even been like... Yeah, he's been oh, injury prone this whole season. He's like, oh, uh, we're playing the Lakers? Nah. Yeah. I'm going to sit down. Yeah. I'm going to have a seat. I'm going to watch y'all play. Oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, he's a rookie, but John Morant? Yes. That is true. 100%. John Bro, Morant. he is the nastiest... He's rookie. rookie. That's rookie of the year. Nastiest That's rookie, 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 bro. Of the year. rookie he's, of the year. He's so athletic. Able to take contact and still able to finish easy. Obtain that and one. Make the free throw. That's the extra point. That helps the team out. Helps his stats. And him being able to do that so easily, being able to pass the ball when it's the right time, it's that's another big snub that yeah. I, don't, I don't agree with whatsoever. No, so I, I'm a huge fan of John Morant, especially what he's been, been doing. The man's ready to ball up. Yo, you give him, he, give him two years. You see what he tweeted? What he tweeted? He tweeted at uh, Steph Curry. I seen that. That's your boy. I mean, he said them he, playing together. No, 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 no Steph no, Curry because no, no. he was throwing shade to uh, Iggy because he didn't. Well, Iggy was on the uh, Grizzlies, yeah. but then he didn't play for them. He just didn't want to play. He completely was like he was just like I'm, I'm on the team, but I'm not. Grizzlies. I'm not playing for the Grizzlies. Wait, so he was? So he's he was on the team. He left Golden State to so Grizzlies. Andre, no, he didn't Andre leave. Andre, he got traded. Andre, Andre Iguodala. When did got he get traded? traded? Last, off season, end of, last, yeah. yeah. End of last season. Wow. He got traded did. over there. As soon as as soon as he got over there, he told him I'm I not don't playing play. again. And as, as soon as he did that, like. Now, like, it's like animosity. It's, yeah, it's in the, been in animosity the locker room. between them. So like, as soon as like someone, someone on the another player on the team was like, "I can't wait," you know, he's a great player. I can't wait to actually like see him on a different team so we can play. Yeah, we can play him. Yeah, you know, so we can show him what our team. Well, is all yeah, about. yeah. And then John Morant retweeted that, and then it was like sent that emoji it was like that talking emoji. Yeah, and, the yeah, and then so and then Curry put on his Instagram story. It's just, the it trophy, was just, yeah, it was just a picture of holding it. the trophy when in the finals. Yeah, picture of Iggy and with then, three trophies. And then Joe Morant got KD. And then John Morant tweeted a picture of KD. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That yeah, was. Uh, hey, but then. How you, how you feel about that? John Morant, how do you feel about John Morant that? caved. He DM'd Curry. And he was just like. What? He was like, listen, this mutual, this, this it's a respect thing. But then, like, obviously, he's just going to keep that energy. Because, like I said, ever since Kobe died, it's just been. The physicality of the sport is just coming back. Paul, Paul George. George. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Paul George, though? That man. <laughs> Thank God he recovered the way he did. I feel like I haven't seen him play enough to actually see if he's good. That's a true re- That That is. Season? It makes sense because. This he, season, I should Yeah, okay, he missed about like 22 games. Yeah, because I haven't really like actually seen. Like, I know. Uh, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George was like the thing to watch this season, but I'm mainly looking at the Lakers right now. It's more entertaining to watch them because I don't know how. Showtime, LA. I, yeah, I don't know how the how Kawhi and PG's chemistry is. It looks pretty shaky. It could go. It's like load management, it, really. They're just chilling for now. All right, what about Zach Levine? That's mine. Hey, put I'll him back. Put him snow. back in the dunk contest. 
Put him yeah. In the what the, I don't even know why they even didn't even ask him. But they they brought back Eric Gordon, but not Zion. Yeah, that's pretty well. But uh, so yeah. Now that you talk about the Zion, I was talking about that dunk contest. You know who's dunking? Yeah. I feel like it's it's a throwback to like 2009. It's got Dwight Howard in it. It's got Eric Gordon in it. Okay. Pat Connington and Derrick Jones Jr. Those two haven't been in it, but Eric Gordon and Dwight Howard, they've been in it. What do you think? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think? Yeah, who do you think? My money's on Aaron Gordon. Memphis. You say yeah. Aaron Gordon's going to win? Aaron Gordon. I feel like... The NBA just everyone who's a fan of the NBA. Just Bro, it was him versus out. Levine. If you ask me, I know that was one of the best dunk contests I've ever seen. That's what I'm saying. If you want to ask me, I think Aaron Gordon. I think yeah. he won. He won. I think he won. Yeah. Ready? What Hoover? What do you think about nah, that? No, nah, I'm talking about against Zach Levine. Mm. Are you serious? I think he won. Yeah. Stop it. I think. Yeah, I think yeah. Bro, Bro, Levine. Stop, there was no way Levine should have won that. hundred percent. Stop it. Bro, with the. With the dude spinning on the uh, dude, oh and and he brought and it back. underneath his, both of his legs, and then who has better hops? You really guys? Gordon, Gordon, Gordon. Really? Gordon. Yeah, yeah, Gordon. Seriously, yes, There's no doubt. Zach Levine's blockable. No, though. Eric Gordon. What? No, Zach, Eric Gordon is like Zach a Levine's walking, a shooting is, guard. Eric Gordon is a walking brick. He literally cannot shoot besides doing dunks. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> He's a walking brick. Bro, look at Zach Levine. The man shoot can three. He's in but the I'm three saying, point but, contest. Uh, it was nice how uh, Zach Levine, how they were down by six points, and Zach Levine is gonna be a first round exit in a three point contest. Oh my goodness! You guys have this man up because he got uh, he got one, one game, three, one, got, one game, game with twelve yeah. threes. Yeah. Yeah. Stop it, bro! You're like Levine, so. he's not that. Out of one to ten, I would say good. like a five. All right, so for since we're moving on from the dunk contest, let's go to three point contest. Yep. Trey Young all the Trey way. Trey Young's in it. Trey Young's in it. I, I got Trey Young. Okay, Young. okay, but here, so listen to this. Trey, Trey Young, Young Steph Curry. Trey Young, Damian Lillard, Hi. Buddy Heald, and Duncan Robinson. Okay, so the first four. The I don't last know who four. Duncan the last is. four, you could forget about them. It's Trey. Hi, slap yourself. Trey Young is. Okay. He's good at threes, but he's not that good. If you think, Are you kidding me? They say that he's like the next Curry. It's false. Because he, he's the next Trey Young. He's his own player. That's how good he is. No one compares him to. Have you he's ever been, heard? He's, they compare him to Steph Curry all the time. Even when, even on draft night, they said, "Oh, this is the player that's supposed to imitate the infamous Steph Curry." I think Trey Young. I I believe he puts Who, up points. Who's the next person? Zach Levine. Zach Levine is I'm, not winning. I, I don't say he's winning, but Damian Lillard. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely. Buddy close. Hield is good too. Is he? Yeah. Yeah, he plays for the Kings. Yeah. Shout out to... JB. Yeah. Shout out to Ohm Diddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Respect, Yolo, respect. Yolo County. The one thing I really want to talk about is this new game format. Ah. It's very yeah, interesting. Do you have the rules? I do, actually. I have so, too. the 2020 NBA game, every quarter counts for charity. So, every time they play, they're just going to play for charity. Yep. Uh, Chicago-based... Community and then now they're introducing a new fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is supposed to be untimed, uh, and then it's supposed to reach to a final score. So the target score is determined by taking the leading team's total score through three quarters and adding 24 points at the end. When set, the play of the fourth untimed to whoever reaches the final score. I think it's dumb, but go ahead, give me your example, man. Yeah. Okay. So. For the first three quarters, let's say the score is 100 to 95. In the fourth quarter, the target score would be set at 124 because it's 100, 100 and plus, plus 24, 24 is 24. Yep. To win the NBA All-Star Game, the team with 100 points needs to score 24 points in the fourth quarter before the team with 95 points gets to 124 first. Wow. So it's kind of weird. Like, that is I don't, weird. I don't understand why they I don't Hopefully, they don't, hopefully they, don't, they don't make a mistake yeah, trying exactly. to do the scoring. Yeah, because that seems pretty Knock confusing, and oh, I mean, hopefully it goes the way that they think it's it's gonna go. Hopefully, I hope Adam Silver has got that mindset. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure, including me, gonna be saying something. I'm gonna be probably gonna be tweeting something. It's gonna uh, be weird because like oh when I saw they that, tried they they're trying to make it a tribute to Kobe. All I'm asking for is the logo change, and I'll be happy. Yes, 
That's all. I, that's all. I'm so that's that's, that's that's what we can say. It's like why I changed the whole entire Format NBA All Star game. That's been the same for years. This one time, like what? So I think it's time for a new logo. But yeah, yeah can we at least get a logo? So like, can we cha- keep keep the red and blue? But just put the- give me the fadeaway Kobe. I did want to say one thing that I wanted to add in about the events. What y'all think about adding more events? Not my idea, but I saw an idea out there that they should add a one-on-one competition. That would be cool. That would be that dope. Would be dope. LeBron one versus one. Leonard. Damian Lillard versus Trey Young. Ooh. D. Rose versus Ooh. Jimmy Butler. Oh, no. Hey, bro, they, They'd be beefing. They, they, they wouldn't be beefing. Yeah. No, they, they, don't like cool. each, they don't like each other. What? Yeah, they don't like each other. D. Rose and Jimmy Butler dapped each other up at Chicago. What you talking about? Nah, uh, but I would love to see a one-on-one game. Just kind of kinda like, you yeah, know how like that, that video yeah. from Shaq and Michael Jordan? Yeah, how Michael Jordan was guarding uh, Shaq and then Shaq hit the fadeaway. That yeah, hezzy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when it was Orlando versus the Bulls. Yeah, something like that. They should do that as an event. That's true. That was... That was the time to be alive. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today. Uh, appreciate y'all coming by, giving y'all input. Of course, uh, brother. Y'all the homies. Y'all can. Y'all know y'all is welcome to come over and talk about y'all, y'all stories. 